Hi guys, I'm often aware of a misunderstanding what is the difference between IBIS, in-body image stabilization, and in-lens image stabilization. For example, VR on Nikon, IS on Canon, etc. etc. I do not know exactly the abbreviation each brand is using. But just imagine that. Normally, if you shooting, you're holding a camera like that, and the and the shake you're applying is not like so. That's what the IBIS can correct best. What you're doing is like so. That's the camera shake. And uh, that's the problem with long focal lengths. The longer the focal lengths, the more the... You, you, you just imagine 200 millimeters. You know, your focal point is right in front here. And uh, if you project that back on the sensor, just a tiny little movement results in a big movement back here on the sensor. Whereas on a short lens, where your focal point is here, for example, on a 35 millimeter lens, the same tiny little movement has almost no effect on the sensor. So that can be corrected without any problem with the IBIS, but not on a long lens because it's a light ray and it's moving like so, the, la the longer the distance to the sensor is. And uh, lens in lens correction is normally done with a kind of, just imagine like a floating, electromagnetic floating uh, lens element, uh, which just compensates the movement of your camera. And that's how in lens image stabilization works. It compensates this movement much better because the sensor here, no matter how good your IBIS is, can move like so, he can move like so, and it can correct the turn like so, but not that one. And that's exactly what the lens image stabilization does. Of course, uh, today's modern camera systems uh, are working in co-action, so the image stabilization is communicating uh, with the in-body image stabilization. And for that, they gain, uh, meanwhile, image stabilizations up to seven stops, eight stops, something like that. It's a combination. But the longer the focal lengths, the more and the worse this error gets. And that's what you need uh, in lens image stabilization for. I think you got it. Hey, have a nice day and a successful 2023. Bye.